So this is the first lecture of mathematical modeling. Uh, so in this we have to know what is a mathematical modeling. Okay. So let me start with it. So here what is a mathematical modeling? Mathematical modeling is an attempt to study some part of real world problems in mathematical terms. That is the conversion of physical situation into mathematics using suitable condition. So here what we do is it is nothing but it is the study of some part of real world problems in mathematical terms. Mathematical modeling is nothing but mathematical modeling is analyzing real life phenomena and is consist of simplifying the real world problem and representing them as mathematical modeling. Solving this model and interpreting the solution in language of real world. Okay. The point is mathematical modeling seeks to uh, gain an understanding of science through the use of mathematical models. I can take down this point. Next is next is why modeling. Okay, which is very important to improve our fundamental understanding of how a system works. So this is nothing but to improve our fundamental uh, understanding of how a system works. To predict or project how the system will change over time and possibly in response to a manipulation. Okay. Next is uh, next point is emerged as powerful indispensable tool for studying a variety of problems in scientific research. Products and process development and manufacturing. Next is next point is improves the quality of work and reduced changes, errors, and rework. So mathematical model is only a, a complement but does not replace theory and experimentation in scientific research. Okay. Uh, next is uh, goals of modeling. Okay. Let us see uh, the goals of modeling. Appreciation of broad use of modeling, hands-on and experiment, uh, experience with simulation techniques. Uh, third is develop communication skill working with practicing uh, professionals. Now, what are the use of mathematical modeling? Okay. Uh, now, it has emerged as a powerful indispensable tool for studying a variety of problems in uh, Scientific research, products and process, development and manufacturing. Now these are the some uh, scopes or uses of mathematical modeling. Uh, manufacturing, medicines, biology, uh, seismology, climate modeling, economics, environment, material, research, drug, design. So these are the uses of or scope of mathematical modeling. Okay. Next is uh, mathematical modeling process. Okay, let me explain you on this process. So this is the first step in this process. If we have a real world problem, we will simplify the problem and, we'll, and we will try to convert this real world problem into working model. So that the variables and other conditions can be written for this working model. Okay. So next is. Uh, okay. Then uh, mathematical model will develop. Which will represent the model. Once we will develop this mathematical model. Then it will be translated into computation model. Okay. Then this math mathematical model will what will happen. It will be. Translated into computation model to carry out the computation and to simulate the result out of this mathematical model. Okay, it will simulate the result out of this mathematical model. So, this result will interpret, okay, interpret real world problems. Then it will interpret real world problems uh, that is is the outcome that is the outcome which will uh, which we would like to have uh, or that is uh, forecast which we would like to 
have on this real world problems this result should interpret that condition okay now this is what i have told you all about in now um, in a simple way i like to tell you this is the first step in this process then it will be simplifying we will simplify this world, real world problem we will simplify it into working model then it represents this then uh, it will translate into computation model which will remove the co computation out of it and then simulate the results of mathematical modeling and then interpret it so that we get uh, so the results should interpret that condition so th like that way so i'll end up my uh, today's lecture here only and you all can go through it in the next lecture i will be starting with some uh, mathematical modeling can be divided into three steps that is formulation evolution and solution finding the solution something like that okay and thanks for watching